Welcome once again to the Darabin International Sports Centre. Today it is the men's singles final of the Australian Open Championships for 2013. And if there needs to be more proof about the changing face of Australian lawn bowls, this is it. The men's singles final sees 21-year-old Aaron Wilson from Victoria taking on a 17-year-old Western Australian, and that man is by the name of Matthew Ayres. Aaron Wilson is from the Brighton Club in Victoria. He was a semi-finalist here two years ago and caused a big upset yesterday when he defeated former world champion Jeremy Henry to reach today's final. Well, Aaron, congratulations through to the final. Uh, how are the nerves on the eve of such a big match in uh, what is a relatively young career? Oh, nerves are a little bit higher, I suppose, but uh, I've been here a few times and I say it gets easier, but uh, obviously in the Australian Open final, uh, it probably doesn't. So uh, but just looking forward to getting out there and uh, putting on the show. Did you think you'd be in an Australian Open final and be the more senior of the two players? Oh, I'm just as surprised as you are, brother. I'm feeling like the veteran here, to be honest. 21 years old and Lisa Phillips, 19 years old, and won that one. So, yeah, I feel like the old one in this uh, final. So. What's the key for you to win today? Oh, obviously, I've had some good form leading into it. Just got to uh, play well and uh, bowls in the head and, uh, yeah, see how we go from there. Over to the teenager from the Sterling Club in Perth. Matthew Ayres has won all his six matches of the Australian Open and among his scalps has been Commonwealth Games gold medalist Kelvin Kirko and runner-up at last year's Open, Nathan Rice. Well, Matthew, congratulations on reaching the final. You're taking on another young competitor in Aaron Wilson. What are you feeling at the moment? Um, yeah, just, just a bit nervous still and yeah, it's a big game in the final but feeling, feeling confident that hopefully it's a good show and play, play pretty well, so yeah. You showed plenty of composure in your semi-final. What is the key on the green for you to be relaxed? Um, I just just take my time, a few deep breaths, and a you know a couple of couple of swigs of water is always good, and just yeah, relax a bit. Do you think there's an important thing, one thing that you have to do today to play well and to win this title? Um, oh, just probably consistency, and just just making sure I've always got you know a couple in the head, and play a few big shots might be the difference between winning and losing. Well, joining me in commentary for this men's final, Steve Glasson and Steve, as national coach, you must be absolutely delighted a 21-year-old and a 17-year-old are in our national final. Oh, Mark, I'm stoked. This is fantastic. Uh, two, two great young champions on the way through. Um, they're establishing themselves in the sport uh, really handsomely well this week. Um, it's going to be a ripper final, but, um, yeah, really excited. It's going to be a great game. They were both compo composed in their semi-final, but do you see the key is who will show the most composure in this final? It's interesting, just uh, watching them before you the, before get underway, and they both look very relaxed there. They're talking to friends, they're, they're doing the iPhone thing, you know, all that sort of stuff, so they look pretty at ease. The first couple of ends will be a bit of a test, and uh, I think we'll get a better, better idea then, but look, they, uh, they handle the semi-finals extremely well, so looking forward to a great tussle with two very talented young men. Well, who would have thought when this tournament started a week ago, the men's singles final would be be, be between 21-year-old Aaron Wilson and 17-year-old Matt Ayres from WA. I'm sure that the national coach, Steve Glasson, you were not thinking these two gentlemen, or one of them still a boy, really, yeah. would get through oh, to the final. Absolutely, Mark. I mean, it's sensational, isn't it? And they've upstaged their, uh, their more well-known and higher-profile counterparts, and they're totally deserving of being here. It's going to be a great game. They've both been on fire throughout the event. And, uh, and they've handled the pressures and the stresses and, you know, just composed themselves so well. So I'm really excited. It goes to show you, this is a classic example of, uh, for the non-converted, I suppose, how bowls is going these days. You know, there's so many great young players in the game. Well, Aaron Wilson, a local boy, gets us underway. Has the white bowls with the red sticker, wearing the red, red uniform. And despite the composure these two men showed in their semi-final to defeat a former world champion as Aaron did and last year's runner-up as Matt did and a Commonwealth Games gold medalist in the quarter-final. They, wouldn't be, yeah, they yeah. Wouldn't, be, wouldn't be human if they weren't nervous here. No, that's for sure. I know uh, Matt had the better of Kelvin Kirko in the quarter-final in a, in a tough game and uh, he held his composure and Kelvin you know, he's a great, you know, he's one of the icons of the sport and he had huge raps on uh, on Matt after the game about just how he handled himself, how well he played. <laughs> Solid start by Aaron here in the first end. They'll both be after a, a good start. Be a massive confidence boost, wouldn't it, for either of them? Conditions ideal here at Darabin. Sun shining. Bit of a breeze. 
very quick player. Aaron Wilson on the mat. He doesn't take any time. He's straight in there. He's very much a rhythm player. Interesting that he's chosen a relatively shortish end to start. Mm, fine shot too. Doesn't look like the bowls of a nervous player. Pressure on young Matthew straight away. Interesting hey, to see what sort of a reaction the older players, you can call them now, those that are in their late 20s and 30s in the Australian men's team, will have to these two youngsters being here, looking over their shoulder at young pups coming through. Certainly be envious. There's a nice little uh, purse at the end of this for the both the winner and runner-up. And 18,000 for the winner. Yeah. In bowling. Not too many 21-year-olds. Earn 18 grand a week. He needs to two in a measure. He needs to come up with something here. And we've seen in the quarter-final, the semi-final, uh, that is exactly what he's capable of. <laughs> nice easy action. Chance of reducing this. He's very, he's very close. Is it going to turn enough? He does reduce it. Or does it oh, just run on a little bit? Just held off a little bit. And rolled away, didn't it? It did slightly. It's one and a measure, I'd say now. Or two, mate. Two. He's got one. Yeah. Two to one. Two to Aaron Wilson to start this men's singles final. And he seemed to settle the quicker. Much better bowl the last one from Matt Ayres, but a little bit more of a nervous start. He had trouble finding the jack, whereas his opponent seemed to get there a bit quicker. Here is our marker, John Roberts, this men's singles final. Pretty good support for both players here too. There's a, a big contingent from WA across, and they've been... Pretty boisterous um, in their support for Matthew and of course Aaron being a local boy, uh, no shortage there either. So that's a great start. It's exactly what he did to Jeremy in the semi-final. He really mastered that first bowl and had Jeremy chasing most of the game. Just made his head to withdraw from the under 18s to play in the semi-final. Now he finds himself in the final there's not only plenty of WA support here for him, there's plenty of uh, the younger brigade who are here for the championships supporting him as well. They one day hope to be out there competing themselves. A few of the juniors are quite relieved he's pulled out of the junior singles as well. That's uh, great shooting. Well played. can't buy the experience they're gaining here either can you Steve down the track to be in this atmosphere at such a young age a developing age of their career will prove enormous value later and certainly will win lose or draw they've beaten some great players on the way that's the thing too so Impressive start here from Aaron Wilson. Mm, it's a good shot there. Just ran on a tad. Be happy with where it's finished. <laughs> Started playing lawn bowls, Matt Ayres, because shattered his knee playing Australian rules football over in WA. So as he rules his losses, lawn bowls game, and this has got to keep going. He wants it just to go another foot, and that would have been absolutely perfect. But it'll make his next shot a bit difficult too, Steve, won't it? Well, yeah, it'll depend, depend where Aaron puts this, but he might even have to look at getting a little bit aggressive with this now. It does cut him off from drawing the shot there to some extent. Haven't seen enough of him play yet to know whether he is uh, an aggressive player or not. Okay. 
Just looks going to reach. No, just looked a little bit behind on this occasion. He hasn't played many of those throughout this event. Well, he's got a chance here. His bowl's protected on that side of the rink. I think uh, if it were me, I'd be going for the shot bowl or the jack. Uh, he's got a few options. He could get both bowls out to make three. Or, uh, or jack down the back and on the way through, he could even collect the back white bowl and make a conversion that way as well. So a couple of options. He's had a thought. Yeah. He knows what he wants to do. Looks like he's going for a bit of weight, is it? No. Oh, yes, just underneath the front one. Is it going to get through? Well, he needs some luck now. Yeah. Not to be on that occasion. He doesn't get it. And it will be one. Possibly two. Tend to favour the second for Aaron. They're going to measure. So one conceded. It would be two. That would be a good start here for Aaron Wilson. It's tight, isn't it? The hand shaking. It's, oh, really, it's really tight. This might be to call the umpire out to. Yeah, 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 two. It is two. It is two to the white. Aaron Wilson, who holds a very handy 4-0 lead after two ends. This first set of the Australian Open 2013 at the Darabin International Sports Centre in Melbourne, Victoria. Aaron, a slightly more experienced player of the two. He has featured in the Grand Prix singles final before, and he's a, a current Victorian state representative. Matt, yet to get to that stage, so... And he did make it through to the semi-finals here in 2011. Yes. 21 he is. Once again, a very good start. Steve, would it be fair to say that learning the skills of the game of bowls in, in terms of delivery, etc., etc., are a lot, lot easier than the tactics of the game? And, you know, that it's only experience that will teach you what shots to play when to play and how to protect and how to attack yeah certainly mark great comment really i mean um uh this is still a very much a development stage for these players i would say you know um watching some of the young ones that we've seen in the semi-finals their their raw talent is quite amazing um you know there's no there's no ailments the techniques are fine um you know maybe they can tweak them a little bit but the um two good shots just the knowledge of the game that's uh that's where they'll continue to develop now and um you know these guys are well on their way by the way they're playing this so that's what makes it so exciting about these two i'll, doesn't say, it? I'll say he doesn't like that no man. just it's a slightly different you're just getting them out a touch higher out there it is a little bit different line and weight Aaron's enjoying that side of the rink, that's for sure. No, he needs to turn this over, really. Oh, it's actually a very tall young man. Still growing. <laughs> Frightening, isn't it? It's close. A little bit of help off the wing bar, what a great shot. Nerves of steel. So Aaron's going to come down and have a look. Great chance for him here. Three seconds. I think the key to this shot is just electing what sort of weight he wants to play at it. I think if it were me, I'd be going quite firm. At the shot pole? Yeah. He's got a few chances there. He can actually peel off one of his own to get it out as well. He'd be hopeful if he does get connection, though, that he gets it clean and no jack movement. Uh, that's the key to this shot. Fairly controlled weight. 
It's, it's tracking. close. It's tracking. It's close. <laughs> it's tracking. Well, great attempt. Matthew will breathe a little sigh of relief. We have to head to the forehand here. That is. You'd expect him to do that. He's pretty pretty tight up there on the backhand now. <laughs> Hasn't played a forehand shot yet going this way, so be mindful to watch his line. He doesn't want to turn that front white bowl in of Aaron, so a little careful with this one. Be fairly relieved to get on the board. I think you'd be happy to just take the shot and <laughs> not get near that front bowl. That's the worry, isn't it? I think um, he's, he's at a half. Not even close. That, I think that's a chicken bowl for sure. Yeah, but he is on the board, and that will settle the nerves, and he'll feel that he's in the final now, although Aaron Wilson does lead by four shots to one. We were fortunate enough in the women's final for it to come down to the last bowl of the last end of the third set. We couldn't be as lucky again, could we? Well, I set a precedence to girls. Sorry. <laughs> You'd be disappointed with that opening bowl. Yeah, it's a bit of a missed opportunity, isn't it? But. Got to try and get over that pretty quickly. Aim up for the next one. And he seemed to do that in the semi-final. That's one of the things about these youngsters, isn't it, Steve? They they are able to brush a poor bowl aside, aren't they? They don't sort of lull on the pass too often, do they? It's all uh, it's all going forward. Not much fear about them. You see, his first short ones just made that shot so much more difficult. He's, he's throwing it out wide to give make sure he gets around his own short bowl and pay the penalty so it's a double whammy that first bowl really this is a bit of a ragged end at the moment yeah i think that front bowl that front green bowl's made it a little bit difficult for both players it's taking a bit more time with this shot Chasing it with interest, so he must like it to there. He needs to keep turning and running. Oh, he's unlucky, really. Fell against the bias. Falls in. Just a likely shot. Thanks, mate. And that's very easy to do. I know uh, when you're sitting back watching that uh, you think, my goodness, I could beat that. But that hand, that side of the green is considerably slower. And it's an old adage in the game that when you change hands, add a meter. Because it's just a, a different feel. And Aaron's probably fallen for the old uh, one-two there. Get final throw at it though, Aaron Wilson. There's plenty of green grass around that jack. Match decided to change as well. And he's given his bowl a chance, which is very good. A bit of jack here would be interesting. Needs the jack. Oh, that's a great attempt. It's run on a bit far and marker. Favours one to green, one to Matt Ayres. It's tight. Not sure if he's here again, is he? I don't think so. No, definitely slower that side. And the marker says one to Ayres. From our position almost on top at this end, Hi, Steve. Is it? They don't know the players. I'm not sure. They're both claiming one. Close. They're going to measure, yeah. Looks like the white bowl, but 
target. I think we might even snag it. I think we will as well. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. One. I thought it was white. Yep. And there it is. I'm sure that the, the marker put up the green paddle. Okay. Mass confusion. And it is one to the white bowl. And number five here in the men's singles final, the Australian Open for 2013. And it's the 21 year old, the more experienced Aaron Wilson, who has that lead. At the moment, because he's controlled the mat for the majority of the match, he's sort of been in control and he's leading the way and Matt Ayers is trying to stay with him. Nice. 17 years of age. Some life in this just yet, but he needs to get off to a slightly better start on each end here. Young Matt, I'm sure he'd be thinking the same thing. Willing it to turn. It's a good start. Good shot. tricky part with that hand if you just get under they do run away a little bit fairly fine line there that's something Aaron's been doing very well he's been hitting the line consistently well and he's close again here <laughs> fine shot well he's in a rhythm at the moment and it's up to Matt Ayres to try and break that rhythm by coming up with a couple of big shots himself. So if he's not careful, this set could get away from him quickly. To the forehand. Needs to hurry. It's a fair attempt. Oh, it's a very good try. Trouble is it doesn't give you much of an option for his last bowl now. Wilson quickly on the mat and away. Wants to keep the momentum going his way. And get a nice well. kiss here. Good bowling. <coughs> Holds three. Tough shot here. A big moment in the match, isn't it? Mm. He's down three. He's turned away straight away. Didn't like it. It's not going to get past. Not going to turn. It's a big end. Yeah, disappointment there for Matt Ayres. It is three. And after five ends, it is Aaron Wilson leading eight shots to one. Matt Ayres has to win this next end, I would suggest. Well, we've seen him do it. He did against Nathan Rice in the semi final. He was uh, seven shots behind and came back to tie the set. and ultimately win the match so he doesn't go away easily as you say he's got to uh, he's got to strike now you're 100 right he was down and out there but he was playing better in that match he was up a set and he was confident nathan had just played well for a couple of ends whereas on this occasion matt's slightly off and aaron's playing very well he certainly is Not happy. Ah. He's generally never far away, is he, Aaron? <coughs> Had a couple of loose short ones coming this way last time, but apart from that, Generally very consistent. Better. Much better. He 
It's a little roost on that white bowl. Oh, just held. Aaron Wilson is playing exactly the sort of game he would have wanted to play coming into a final putting pressure on his opponent getting his bowls there or thereabouts on most occasions taking advantage of any opportunity it's up now to Matt Ayres to turn things around for himself but he's got to get his bowls to the jack well, Aaron's got to be feeling good about this at the moment well, Matt's got plenty of support here, Steve, as you mentioned. But yeah. had, he hasn't given them anything to cheer about yet. No, well, there's a long way to go, though. This game can change very, very quickly. But he needs them to help lift, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Yeah. Probably only taken an end or two of good play from him, and the crowd will get much more animated and lift his confidence. He's probably feeling a little bit down at the moment. This run out. Well, he's in a position now where he's got to change hands or or change his tactic, get aggressive, something. We saw him do this on many occasions in the semi-final. And dearly love to kick start. He's not happy. No. Come on, Come on. Too tight. Need some luck. Oh, he nearly got a feather from the front bowl, but Wade was good to get the shot. Well, I think it's three to Aaron Wilson here. Is it? It's got to be close to yep. three. three. It is three to White, and it is desperation now for Aaron Wilson. He leads 11-1 as the Victorian over Matt Ayres as we head downstairs to Andrew Holmes. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Uh, Mark Cowan, uh, coach of Aaron Wilson this afternoon. That's the start he would have been looking for. Oh, most definitely, Andrew. I'm very pleased with the start so far. Over the last 12 months, 18 months, he's been in very, very good form at state level. Um, so uh, if he sticks to what he's doing at the moment, which is drawing well, he he'll go very close to winning the straight sets. He's playing an opponent who not many of us have heard of. Did you know if he knew much about him before the match? No, and I had no idea about him much either. Uh, but yeah, sort of come off the radar, but that's what these tournaments throw up, you know, uh, an outsider. And I know Robert Doody sort of won from nowhere a few years ago, and uh, obviously uh, he's trying to do the same. Great advertisement for the sport, though, isn't it? Having these, uh, these young guns uh, going head to head. Yeah, these young boys, they don't have much fear as <laughs> far as uh, their bowls are concerned. Sometimes I think their uh, running shots are a bit better than their draws, but by the look of them, they're both very good draw bowlers, so it should come right down to the wire, I think. So. What are some of his strengths in his game? Oh, look, his draw shots is very, very good, you know. Uh, but as I said, he tends to get a bit impetuous sometimes and, uh, and runs at the head when he doesn't have to be, but uh, we're working on that with him, so hopefully he'll go all right. Steve Blasson said earlier in the match that he's very quick on the mat and wants to get the game moving along at his tempo. Is that something you see from him regularly? Yeah, it is, and uh, it's a bit like your golf. You think about it too much sometimes. You overthink some of the, your delivery. Uh, so he just gets on a bit, a bit like Aaron Sheriff and just uh, just bowls it and doesn't think too much about it. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks so it's a work for him. Thanks for your time. No worries. Well, he has a 10-shot lead in this set. But the advantage for Matt Ayres is... Whatever he wins with this first set by Aaron, if he does, it doesn't carry over to the second. And that will make him feel better, that shot. He needs to play a few good ones at the end of this, uh, this first set. Unlikely he'll escape out of this. You never know. But certainly be geared up and ready to go for the second set. Well, if he doesn't win this end, the set's over. the difference and there'll only be eight shots on offer and even if he wins it by a shot it'll be over still not enough yeah doesn't like it good speed she's quick isn't he yeah, it's his last bowl of this end no messing around Well, this bowl would keep him in the set, albeit a fair way back. See if he can manufacture something special. 
How's the line? Well, he's watching it closely. A bit tight, I think. Might Just hit under his own bowl. Well, he's got to hold. It's well, he got his onto that one. It was a great it's attempt. It's a great effort. He keeps himself alive. And he's got two shots. And so he's still alive in this first set. Regardless of what they say, surely he hasn't conceded the set. No, he he, he he more or less hadn't. I think uh, Aaron actually uh, went back to the calculator and did math on it and worked out that the set was still alive as well. And, and to his credit, gave him the option to say, well, hang on a sec, mate. We're not over yet. But certainly... Uh, Maybe a restudy of the times table or something. And <laughs> well, he's only 17, he oh, look. He's missing a bit of school this week. Yeah, he might is. have been his maths tables. <laughs> You'll know the maths if he wins $18,000, I'm sure. Well, he does know here that he has to get all four shots. Otherwise, it will be the second set. <laughs> something he's done pretty consistently, isn't it? Aaron Wilson, his first bowl is... Been pretty good on every end. It's been a feature of his play in all the games I've seen. He's got the right idea. He's making sure he's not dropping short, so he's, at least he's got a scoring opportunity near the end of this uh, this particular play. But. Aaron's close again. <laughs> he really needs to get the jack off that last bowl of uh, of Aaron's there. Needs a little bit of luck. Willing it to hang on, but just slipping under. Here's the insurance shot. Well, in the perfect world, he can make four here. I'd rather at him than me, but <laughs> it is on. Nothing to lose, though. Here we go for the first set. Funny chance. Funny chance. Well, I tell you what, it's a very good bowl. Just not quite the desired, uh, desired result. It's not, and it will be the first set. So he can't pick up four shots. How many will it be? And who will it be to? It's hard to tell from this angle whether it's a green. It's a one to white. And so one shot to Aaron Wilson and the first set goes to the Victorian 12-3 let's head downstairs here's Andrew Holmes yeah thank you Mark Peter Harris the uh, National Training Centre coach from WA joined us and uh, although dropping the first set he thought um, uh, Matthew just sort of found his way into that last couple of ends uh, yeah no we had a conversation five minutes ago just to get set for the second set that's what sets play is all about when you, one set goes you, you start for the second set what what sort of message do you try and get across in those little sort of you know 20 second 30 second chat sideline? Uh, it's more of a build their confidence, um, just reaffirming that they're going okay, or what they need to improve on. But really, Matt's got a lot of confidence in himself, so just play his own game. He faced a heavy de deficit in the uh, semi final against um, uh, the previous opponent. He uh, he knows how to pull himself out of a spot. Yeah, he knows he's got a great head on his shoulders and. Uh, uh, he, he never gets down on himself, or rarely gets down on himself, and he'll, he'll fight back. He'll um, give it all he's got, and if he goes down, he'll go down swinging. He's sort of come from relative obscurity to most of us. When did you start to uh, get hold of his ability and nurture it? Uh, I suppose I was lucky enough about four years ago when he started taking part in the under-18 system in WA. Um, so he's there now had four good years in that system, and this will be his first year you know, in senior ranks, and this is a great start for him. Great experience for him, isn't it? Oh, terrific experience. It doesn't get any better than this. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Yes, he's achieved much in 12 months in the senior ranks. Most probably less than that, really. So Pretty happy at the moment, I think. Although he would like to get off to a flyer here in the second set.
desperately needs to uh, win one of these heads and have a significant change in length. Get that jack somewhere else. Because at the moment, Aaron's dominating on this length. Feeling very at home on it. Here's his chance. Didn't really like it out of the hand. It's not bad though. Well. <laughs> there you go. He did drop the head, didn't he? He sure did. Solid weight, big weight. Close. Top line. Great head. Oh, he's well, hit it. Look at this. Well. And it's just in. I think that was the the bowl that hit the jack. And so now he has two shots. But this is a hard one, isn't it?